Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. So market is still a little bit uh, not in shape, if I can say uh, like this. Uh, we don't have nice opportunities for long term trading like swing trading. Uh, also, sometimes uh, it's difficult to find entries for intraday. So basically what I would recommend if you would like to trade still to focus on the low time frames and uh, try to scalp the market yes with generally with the main directions because um it looks like we still might have continuations of those uh big moves uh so <clears throat> first let's check Aussie dollar US dollar um weekly chart yes we see is pointing down we have downtrend definitely uh, we are around the support level uh, for this pair. Let me, we have to go to monthly to, to find this, but basically we see that this is quite strong support area. Next level is a little bit lower here, where if I still, so I still have room to, to retest uh, lows. Um, but what what we have on the lower time frames, like daily chart, again, we see still see that price just dropped and right now is still around the same area last uh, like last last week yes we didn't have any continuations uh, so for swing traders definitely at least some retracements back to the 36 back to the trend line which we have here and then look for uh, entries on the four hour chart or daily time frame try to target this support zone lower time frames um, if we look if we look for the one uh, four hour chart we'll see that price already retested and uh, the 36 so we have this retracement and right now we still have continuation we know that this is support zone but if we have four hour chart retracement back to the 36 which gives us a steep short one to three yes we see this we can look for possible continuations of course we have support but this we know that this is monthly support so we can easily try to target those previous lows for possible for possible uh, scenarios, yes. So we might have like 170 pips still with main direction. So what we have right now on the four-hour chart, this is uh, what's retracement, and right now price is making for us one-hour chart, one to three, which might be uh, option for us to take it on the one-hour chart. However, price action is really not clear here. Uh, <clears throat> So if you like to take it on the one hour time frame, we'll definitely with low risk. Uh, entry after candle close, stop loss above, and then uh, target, try to target this. If you don't want to uh, take it on the one hour time frame right now, uh, because price is making uh, four hour chart one to three, plus one hour chart one to three, we can look for the five or 15 minute uh, entries here. So we can go to uh, five minute, and we can say, okay, I would like to look for short scenarios here after retracement back to this trend line, back to this uh, 36 EMA, and then we can look for sales. You can exactly do uh, same for the 15 minute, yes, a little bit. Yeah, we need to see some volatility, and then you can look for uh, entries on the 15 minute chart. So this is the only thing which we have uh, on the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Still be careful, low risk, uh, don't jump too fast. Yes, market, you see. We have down move, up move, then retracement, again up move. So there is definitely uh, market is without any decision right now. Euro do uh, dollar, this was also um, tricky because uh, last week we discussed about possible continuation of the up move and price did exactly something opposite. Uh, so if we look for uh, support areas, we still have, uh, we see that price is making new lower lows again. Uh, so we have this support area and then a little bit lower we'll have next one so we still have space for continuation of this downtrend we have also next level here um we said about the longs it, because our weekly trend line was was broken so we could expect that okay after breakout we'll have maybe bigger uh, move but it, it looks like it was a false break on the price immediately retrace yes it, it immediately retrace broke our 36 cma here where we were uh, hoping to get like long one to three yes and possible continuation and uh, this was my plan for last week but price just broke it so uh my plan unfortunately didn't work out uh, right now what we have a really strong move in the down trend again we see no clean direction right now on the day price move up and then retrace immediately down to the same area 
with without any one two trees without nothing yes uh, for our time frame uh, if we uh, we see here that price right now is a little bit struggling on the support area so we need to wait for some retracements back to the 36 and then the lower time frame entries again target this support zone and then we have another area of uh, potential target and one hour chart uh, yes right now we see that price react on the 36 cma and uh, but we don't have this is trend line we don't have much room right now to trade yes so if we would like to trade this uh we need to wait for breakouts i ideally because if we this was okay to take the entries here, but our target is, of course, on the support. Right now, it will be too late because we see that, that we have only like 30 pips. Maybe for scalpers, yes, if really would like to some, if you really would like to scalp five minute retracement, then one minute entries just to grab some uh, some pips, like 40, 50 pips. This might be more than enough for scalping. Um, but it will be aggressive, the, uh, definitely you need to wait at least for breakout of the support area to look for sell entry so for example we can go to 15 minute chart and say okay i wait for breakouts and if i get breakout one to three we can look for uh, short entries definitely uh, and we can also try to trade against me in this direction <clears throat> because we are on the support area so if price decide to break this trend line we can we can possible uh, maybe we'll have setups and then we can look for long entries. Our target will be four hour thirty six EMA, uh, and then if we are lucky, maybe price will create a bigger retracement. Then our target will be daily thirty six EMA. Yes. So this is what we might get. We can wait for breakouts and uh, then trade. GP Swiss franc. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is making new lower uh, lower lows. Yes, it's making new lower lows uh, right now. So we don't have uh, any support areas where price might react. We are making new lows. Um, so let's try to draw anything which we see. In the previous one, support right now, resistance is, is here. Yeah, so price just crashed again, went down. We go to daily chart. Uh, <clears throat> so we see yes, that we price is piercing we don't have anything else yeah so we have only this for swing traders retracements continuations yes continuations uh, definitely uh if we go ah, now i have my chart updated uh so we have yeah, this is our support so we see that price retested this uh so again <laughs> retracements and then we can still focus on the short entries definitely uh, when we go to four hour time frame, uh, we will see that we have four hour chart one to three right now, which is also a little bit tricky, yes, because we have like move, price range on the support, broke it, retraced immediately, and right now it's also reacting. But for us, it might be four hour chart one to three like this, yes, because previously we have this one to three, another one to three with range, and right now we'll have this, yeah. So because price is bouncing on the resistance and the 36 CMA, we can go to lower time frames, look for short entries, and of course try to target previous lows, yes, because this is only one which only thing which we have, which still is good target, like 150 pips. <clears throat> so we had this breakout, uh, and right now price is in the range. I wouldn't name it as a one to three. It it looks like, but it's not exactly yes, because we see prices in the range. Here we have one to three, yes. It's more visible. Good example, yes. Move up and retracement. This is our one to three, which we would like to see. This is something different. This is a little bit tricky setup, a little bit rangy. So if we have this, we don't want to trade after to the three line breakout, but I would just say, okay, after range breakout because this looks like a range yes definitely you see here we have up move and we have nice candles which retrace which were going down we have down move and the price is stuck between those two areas so best way to to trade this is to wait for breakout of those lows and then look for short entries yes still with main direction yes this is what we would like to get o only with the main direction right now um if we have breakout, because I don't see really reason to look for longs, but if you if you scalp, if you really scalp, 
uh, you can also focus on, on longs. Yes, try to maybe target the resistance. Problem is that we have closed 36 EMA. Uh, but if this is if this full move is a false breakout, we might, we might have bigger retracements anyway. Yes, or we might have situation that price retrace back to here, will go down a little bit, create higher low, and then will continue to go up. Yes, for bigger retracement. But right now, market is not really technical because of what is going on uh, around the world. Uh, so that's why we might have situation that the price will go down, will start to range, then will go up. Yes, a little bit uh, chaotic moves. Uh, but if you scalp, uh, you can also grab some pips after breakout. Yes, because maybe you will have situation that price will just only go retest the previous lows and then will will react. So you can still have chance to grab a couple of pips. Not much, but the GBP Swiss franc gave us this opportunity that if we have nice move. It can easily move 400 peps, even if we see this small range has 110 peps on the one hour chart. So this gives us possibility for scalp. Of course, remember about the spread, yes, we, because the GP Swiss franc probably you will have bigger uh, spread. So also please uh, pay attention to this. Yeah, so this is plan for GP Swiss franc, GPP yen, another pair. We still have room to go lower. Uh, this is our support area and our next support zone is here. Uh, so weekly chart, yes, price already pierced this uh, area. So of course, uh, downtrend then definitely if we look for next resistance or previous resistance, uh, sorry, this, this would be area where price might retrace on, on the weekly chart daily. What we would like to see, uh, like on the GP Swiss franc, yes, for swing traders, retracements, continuation, Right now, we see that price went a lot and really fast. Only lower time frame and, and entries uh, only. Yes, and we have the same story like on the GP Swiss franc. So we see all pairs looks more or less the same. If we, yeah, we have the difference is that at least we have those smoother one to trees here. We have here price bounce on the 36 CMA. We also have a trend line here. Yes, we see that price spiked. So short entries, lower time frames only. One hour chart, exactly same story. We have range, yes. So we need to we need to wait for range breakout, and then we can yes look for the lower time frame entries. You go to 15 minute, five minute, even or Renko settings, and you can you can look for sales. Even if we have support area here, we can take it because um, the price still can go lower, yes, a little bit. Like like you said on the GP Swiss franc, maybe we'll have this situation that price is bouncing, making higher low, and then we'll continue to go up, or we'll go down to create double bottom, or we'll continue to go uh, down. Yeah, so those are scenarios right now which which might happen. Yes. So that's why uh, we would like to trade on the lower time frames because even if price would like to create a higher low, for example here, we still have enough room to grab some some pips, yes, but if price continue to go down, we still will be with main direction, yes. <clears throat> but we need first to see volatility. That's why we need to wait for a uh, range breakout, yeah. And like on the GP Swiss franc, if you scalp, yes, you can also look for, uh, I, I don't like this, for me, this is too aggressive, uh, but scalping is something different, yes. We try to just catch volatility and whenever we get vol uh, volatility, we would like to grab some pips. That's all what we want to do. So if you get volatility of breakout, if you like to scalp, yes, you can also look for uh, buys and target uh, this. Yeah. New Zealand yen. Uh, if we start from the monthly, I guess we still have this is support where the price almost touched. This is quite strong resistance, which which price broke. Uh, but still, uh, we have we have uh, lower points on the chart, so this is good because we'll find something at at least. If we zoom out a little bit, um, weekly chart. Yes, we have to scroll back to find any support resistance levels. We will see that here we have something. Yes, is like between those areas like 50% of, of this where price is right now and basically we that's all what we have here is this one here we have a little bit higher this one 
So we will have that. And, ren and right now, price is exactly on this area, almost touched this previous uh, previous previous uh, support. Uh, still downtrend, definitely. We need to see retracement, then continuations of the main direction, if possible. Uh, daily chart, yes. Swing traders, like all all of pairs right now, we should check. We we are around daily chart, just move down. Uh, so if you really think about four hour chart entries, only retracements on the daily chart, and then follow four hour chart time frames. Yes. Right now we have market only for intraday and scalping. Nothing else. Yes. No swing trading right now. Yes. Uh, four hour chart. What we have is this trend line. We have four hour chart, one, three again, ugly. But this is what, what we have, we see. Why, um, why is ugly, you see? Price was in the range, went down, and went up immediately to the same point. Yes, it's not like we have a smooth situation. It's like if I, can, um, if I can paint this, it will be like this and that, yes? And if we look for the nice looking one to trees, we would like to see move and retracement. Yes. So we see the difference between nice and uh, not nice one to three, if, if I can name it. Yes. So we want to have strong move and a retracement like this and then continuation. Yes. This is how trend is moving. Yes. If we have situation like this, this is a little bit, a little bit trickier and more uh, ag uh, aggressive, but still, we would like to trade this with main direction anyway. So, and again, scalping uh, only. Yeah? So, what we, what we have is price is breaking our trend line. So we see this is better one to three. We see move and then retracement. Yes. Uh, so what we what we have we have this. Uh, so we look for. Uh, short entries after breakout of this line. Yes, we can just uh, have this maybe on 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 the 12, which we also can trade. But you need to wait for breakout of this trend line at least, and look for uh, short. And you see on the five minute chart is really ugly. Maybe it will be better on the Renko charts. And by the way, we can just quickly check uh, how it looks on the on on the Renkos. Yes, just to just to see. If we get something better, just to show you, uh, this is Hakenashi. Even the Renko charts, you see, are not so nice. Are not so nice. This is M M M30. This is M60. Yeah. So we see, even if Renko, uh, Renko charts are giving us uh, charts like this, it means that there is not nice uh, price action uh, anymore. Yes, because uh, Renko charts should look much cleaner. Yes, they they should look like this. Yeah, you see move retracement you see how smooth charts looks with the Renko charts yes and if we go here you see not good yes so even this is not giving us but what we can do if you see that price is breaking this this trend line here uh this will if you want to scalp on on the Renkos, this will be also m uh, 30 on the Renkos, you just draw the line, and if you gain volatility, if you see that Renko charts are getting smoother, then you can start to look for short and entries. If you start to see something like this, you see nice move in one direction, retracement in the second. Yes, if we start to see nice candle like that, you can definitely, of course, jump in. Of course, we never know what will happen next. Yes, or you can get the setup and suddenly a chart will become ugly. But still, you should reward yourself that this was good setup anyway. Yes, we don't know future. Uh, we need to react what we see. And if we see something like this, it means that the chart is looking good. Yeah. So this is New Zealand Yen and USD CAT. Um, this is another pair. This is monthly charts. So we already almost reached previous spike. This is unbelievable. About those moves, yes, that those moves only two, three candles, and we 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 reached the levels uh, which we discussed uh, uh, to to target in the long long run, yes, and then the price reach in two weeks and also really 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 fast, yes. Um, so what we have on the weekly is the strong move. Another, if, if we look for the support level, this is the only support level which is close to us. 
and we have also this support uh, zone so not much yes uh, we see this we say we have that of course swing traders retracements yes and then continuations with the main directions we have this trend line which is far away right now so we we can just use them for our 36 uh, sorry daily 36 cma uh, price already retested the 36 is bouncing yes but again if we look for the lower time frames we don't have much volatility right now for our chart trend line um, far away yes this is the one which is more mainly like a daily and only thing which i see on the four hour chart is this uh, so again as long as price is holding this this trend line here you can look for buys yes you can look for buys right now we have this four hour chart one to three we go to one hour chart and what we see again we are in the range yes we are in the range so we need to wait for breakouts so we can see okay five minute chart and whenever i get breakout here i look for buy entries and my target is where on the resistance on the previous tops so this is like 150 pips at the game same same we can just look for uh renko's uh, renko charts just to see uh how it looks there yes we can just uh renko's yeah you will see we need to go to higher settings so you will see where is our target is this is our resistance uh level yes so basically right now we are in this in this uh in this small range like we like we set yes on the on the range because it will be a little bit different yeah because we have this is like 70 70 pips let's just measure it will be yeah exactly the same yes you see but on the range charts we we have like a little bit bigger moves here which also is opportunity for us uh to trade in the range but that's this is something different different story here uh but right now what we can do yes if if we know that we wait for this resistance breakout what we can say okay i need to see uh m3 one to three if i want to be uh really fast if not <clears throat> what we can say you go to m60 and you just wait for breakout of the m60 and you look for a yes, setup and you see usd cat looks a little bit uh, smoother than new zealand uh, yen regarding the rank chart yes so you wait for that and then of course we know our target is up here so another 150 pips this might be good good option for us uh, for us so guys that's all from my side for upcoming week again we don't have uh, much in terms of the swing trading so be careful market is still strange uh without uh uh without uh, uh good reactions means that uh, yes we we just still is uh price action is uh, chaotic uh so yeah sometimes it's better to wait uh log the profits um if you don't see good opportunities don't check the charts every 15 minute every one hour just try to check charts every four hours sometimes it's better really to wait one two weeks and uh, let market to uh continue to previous moves than started to jump in every day to market which not is not giving us any good condition and lose all profitable trades which you which you made where market conditions were good so right now remember please this is market only for scalping sometimes to uh intraday trading yes if you have any questions of course feel free to contact us uh, or leave the comment uh, below this video so thanks a lot and uh, talk to you soon bye